Good afternoon, guys. A little bit later in the day on a Sunday to say hello. Welcome to ABCs to a Positive Life. Say hello, Jake. How are you doing today? Uh, Jean, hope you're on. Glad to see you on my live. And Sunshine, glad to see you here. Uh, hey, Rita. Hope you're enjoying work and you get to watch this later. Very nice. Um, also put on there for tag and say hello to... Big joy. Oh, RJ, buddy. I'll see you later tonight. Say hello. Okay, so today we're talking about being optimistic. Optimistic is a mental attitude. Right. Huh. Uh, optimistic is a mental attitude, reflecting a belief or hope that is that an outcome of a specific endeavor or outcomes in general will be positive favorable and desirable. An optimist would see a glass half full, whereas a pessimist would see it half empty. On Father's Day, my wife was complaining about a massive headache. We went home and she took some Advil. About 2 a.m., she said she wanted to go to the hospital. This is where it got scary. We were not sure what was happening, but we kept a positive outlook. Rita was rushed to McMaster Hospital. That was when we found out that she was ready to deliver her baby early. Surprise! There were, they were able to keep Rita and the baby in the hospital for another week. So at 27 weeks, we had London. She was the most amazing baby. She only weighed 2 pounds and 1 ounce. For the first three months, I was at the hospital every day after working 12, 14 hours. I was so tired. But it was the most amazing feeling to see my daughter every day. The best part of that was a thing they called kangaroo care, which is where my daughter would lie on my bare chest, just in her diaper, with half a dozen tubes of wires hanging all over the place. Uh, the next best thing was the feeding. It was amazing. We were able to connect in a way that I never knew or have felt in my life before. The reason why you do kangaroo care is that it is something special for you and your baby that you can only give. Kangaroo hair care helps the baby maintain its body warmth and regulate its heart and breathing rates. It also helps the baby to gain weight, spend more time in deep sleep, which happened to me too because when she's on my chest, I did fall asleep. <laughs> Probably because I'm working too much, but also it was very comforting to know that she's beside me, or on top of me rather. <laughs> also, uh, it spends time being quiet and alert with less crying time, as well as having emotional benefits. It built my confidence and reduced my stress as I was providing intimate care that was improving my daughter's health and well-being. This all happened back in 2014. We were at my uncle's having Father's Day's dinner with the family. The house was, cr was crowded, so most of us were outside. Earlier, Rita was complaining that she had a headache. My uncle is a great cook on the barbecue. We had some great food and was very full, which is usually hard for me to do because I like to eat so much. After dinner, headache, uh, Rita, sorry, Rita's headache got worse. So we decided to go home. I asked Rita if she thought we should go to the hospital to make sure everything was okay. She said she was okay. Though it was just part of the pregnancy, a headache got worse throughout the night. So about 2 a.m., Rita said that we needed to go to the hospital, raced off to emergency. The staff at the hospital did their usual thing for registering, but we didn't wait long. Once the doctors saw Rita, they knew we had a problem. They called McMaster to assist them to stabilize the visa. As the hospital, as the first hospital we went to, was not encrypted to handle a premature birth. I was really worried because I didn't know what was going on, as I was in the waiting room and unsure what the problems were. So later, the data, the, the doctors were able to stabilize Rita so that she could be transferred to McMaster by ambulance. I drove to McMaster super fast, obviously, and I was very worried at this time as well. Some of my thoughts were that we could lose the baby or that Rita couldn't make it either. That was very sad for me. But I kept a positive attitude. I knew we were in professional hands. At first, we thought we would lose the baby because of all the pain my wife was in. That Father's Day was one I will never forget. Also, when I got to McMaster, I was not sure what was going on with Rita. It was about 
only a half an hour, but it seemed like a lifetime waiting around in the hospital. When I saw the nurse and she said Rita was stable, I was so relieved. Although it has been three months, oh, although it had been three months at the hospital, it didn't seem that long. Seeing my daughter every day changed my outlook. I felt that I needed to become better, make more money, and be the best that I can be. This is where I am today. I wrote my book, and I'm heading in the right direction, I believe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great Sunday, and we will read again tomorrow morning. Have a great one. Enjoy your Sundays.